health care and workforce job training were the hot topics for Senator Al Franken today as he visited the Brainerd area this morning. Senator Franken talked with seniors, pharmaceutical representatives, and health care professionals at Home Instead Senior Care before touring the Avantech plant in Baxter. Our very own Ka Clayton Castle followed Franken to both stops and has that story tonight. It was all business in Brainerd on this holiday as United States Senator Al Franken made a stop at Home Instead Senior Care to discuss rising pharmaceutical drug prices, as this is a top priority for the senator as Congress discusses changes in health care. And that we're getting, we have a situation where people, and we were talking specifically about seniors, but uh, people aren't taking the medications that they need to take, and that, that is not cost effective. Senator Franken met with representatives from pharmaceutical companies, health care centers, as well as senior citizens to listen and ask questions about what he can take back to Washington as a member of the Senate Health Committee. Franken says that the complexity of the issue is a challenge, but it's important to hear from those directly affected by the rising drug costs. It's always good to hear these discussions, and it always gets into, um, uh, when I say the weeds in this, these details that I, I have difficulty comprehending, I can imagine how difficult it is for the average uh, senior who's, or, or average, just average American, average Minnesotan, uh, who is trying to navigate their prescription drugs. Hours later, Senator Franken then switched gears to talk about the current skills gap in America, leaving millions of jobs open due to the lack of candidates with the right training. Franken toured Avantech in Baxter, which is the largest manufacturer of aluminum rotation molds in the world. Franken praises companies like Avantech that offer a partnership with local schools to allow students to train for jobs that don't necessarily require a four-year degree. Franken says that he is ready to work with the new Trump administration and Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, whom he was highly critical of during the nomination hearing process, on moving these programs forward nationwide. I, I said to her, after her, she had brought up this, she had brought up work, workforce training. And I said, look, I may not vote for you, but I think you're probably going to get confirmed. And if you are confirmed, I want to work with you exactly on this. And she said, yes, so I'm, I'm, I look forward to working with her on it. The stop at Avantech in Baxter was part of Senator Franken's Advancing Career Pathways Tour, where he's focusing on learning new ways to close the nationwide skills gap. In Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Senator Franken's team visited Brainerd last year also to discuss health care, though the senator was not there himself. Franken says he will take what he learned today in Brainerd and use it toward future legislation on these issues. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.